And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, وَأَتْبِعِ السَّيِّئَةَ الْحَسَنَةَ تَمْحُوهَا Follow the evil deed with one which is good, it shall erase it. Like what, Ya Rasulullah? This man entered the masjid upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he was crying, he was in tears and said, Ya Rasulullah, tahirni, purify me. This guy used to have a girlfriend before Islam. While he was coming to the masjid, she met him. Hey, how are you? What's up? Miss you, man. So he ended up giving her a kiss and a hug. <gasps> then he realized, what did I just do? I'm a Muslim. I'm not supposed to do that. So he came running. He thought he's supposed to be purified and punished like ma'iz. Had to zina. Huh? Maybe he lashed or even a stone. He said, Ya Rasulullah, I've committed a big sin. Tahirni. He said, what did he do? So he told him, the Prophet sallallahu does not have in the constitution a punishment set for kissing or touching a woman. The punishment is for actual adultery. So he kept quiet. Then while the Prophet sallallahu was sitting in his masjid, Jibreel alayhi salam came down with an ayah of Surah Hul. Establish the prayer, both tarafa in nahari wa zulafa min al-layl, in the morning and in the evening. Why? Because the good deeds erase the bad deeds. So the Prophet sallallahu said, where is the questioner? Where is the guy who just asked me about, you know, the had and the punishment? Who wanted to be purified? They said, he's there. Call him. He said, have you prayed Asr with us in Jama'ah? He said, yes, I did. He said, your sin had been forgiven. Umar ibn al-Khattab said, Ya Rasulullah, he heard the whole scenario, the question, the pause, and the wahi sent down to answer this guy. He said, Ya Rasulullah, أَهِيَ لَهُ خَاصَّةً أَمْ لِلنَّاسِ كَافَةً Is this ayah, has this ayah been revealed to answer his question only, an exclusive case, a special condition, or is it general for the entire ummah that whenever you commit sins, then you attend the prayer, especially in jama'ah, the sins will be removed. He said, بَلْ هِيَ لِلنَّاسِ كَافَةً Rather, it is for the entire ummah. زَادَ خَيْرُ اللَّهِ وَكَثْرُ Allah loves us to be forgiven. Allah wants us to enter heaven. So he says, As-salawatu al-khams, wal-jumu'atu ila al-jumu'ah, wa ramadanu ila ramadan, mukaffiratu lima baynahunna majdunibat al-kaba'ah. Offering the five daily prayers on a regular basis is an exception for whatever sins were committed in between. Who can afford to miss such a great opportunity for his sins to be forgiven? Even if the salah is not fard, is not mandatory. Rather, if you pray it, your sins will be forgiven. It should be more than enough. You take one step towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah takes a long distance towards you. A mile distance towards you. What we need to understand, brothers and sisters, is to change our tradition. The concept of looking into the ibadat as just duties. Rather, we, le we need to learn how to enjoy it. How once we start the salah, we say, Allahu Akbar, you're disconnected. You're disconnected from the whole world.